Wish ye your man to the deep hidden wisdom Lost to the world since the time of the dwellers Lost and forgotten by eight men of this age Know ye this earth is but a portal Guarded by powers unknown to man Yet the dark lords hide the entrance That leads to the heaven born land Know ye the way of the spear of a ruler Is guided by barriers open only to light born man Upon the earth I am holder of keys to the gates of sacred land, command I by the powers beyond me to lead the keys to the world of man. Before I depart, I give ye the secrets of how ye may rise from the bondage of dark, cast off the fetters of the flesh that have bound ye, rise from the darkness into the light. Know ye the soul must be cleansed of the darkness, er, yeah, may enter portals of light. Thus establish among you the mystery so that the secrets may always be found. Yes, through men may fall into darkness. Always the light will shine as a guide. Hidden in darkness, veiled in the symbols. Always the way to the portal will be found. Man in his future will deny the mysteries, but always the way the seeker will find. Now I command you to maintain my secrets, given only to those ye have tested, so that the pure may not be corrupted, so that the power of truth may prevail. Listen ye not to the unveiling of mysteries, listen to the symbols of the mystery I give. Make of it a religion, for only thus will its essence remain. Reli regions there are to between this life and the great one, traveled by the souls who depart from earth. Dwat, the home of the power of illusion. Seket, Hespet, the house of the gods. Osiris, the symbol of the guards of the portal, who turns back the souls of unworthy men. Beyond lies the spear of the heaven-born powers, Zorulu, the land where the great ones have passed. There, when my work among men has been finished, will I join the great ones of my ancient home. Seven are the mansions of the house of the mighty. Three guards the portal of each house from darkness. Fifteen the ways that lead to Duat. Twelve are the house of the lords of illusion. Facing four ways, each of them different. Forty and two are the great powers judging the dead who seek for the portal. Four are the sons of Horus. Two are the guards of the east and west of Isis, the mother who pleads for her children, queen of the moon, reflecting the sun. Ba is the essence, living forever. Ka is the shadow that man know as life. Ba cometh not until Ka incarnate. These are the mysteries I preserve through the ages. Keys are they of life and of death. Hear ye now the mystery of mysteries. Learn of the circle beginningless and endless. F the form of he who is one and in all. Listen and hear it. Go forth and apply it. Thus will ye travel the way that I go. Mystery and mysteries yet clear the light for. The secret of all I know will reveal. I will declare a secret to the initiated. But let the door be wholly shut against the profane. Three is the mystery come from the great one. Here and the light on thee will dawn. In the primeval dwell three unities. Other than these none can exist. These are the equilibrium. Source of creation. One God. One truth. One point of freedom. Three come forth from the three of the balance. All life. All good. All power. Three are the qualities of God in his light home. Infinite power. Infinite wisdom. Infinite love. Three are the powers given to the master. To transmute evil. Assist good. Use discrimination. Three are the things inevitable for God to perform. Manifest power. Wisdom and love. Three are the powers creating all things. Divine love possessed of perfect knowledge. Divine wisdom knowing all possible means. Divine power possessed by the joint will of divine love and wisdom. Three are the circles of existence. The circle of light where dwells nothing but God and only God can transverse it. The circle of chaos where all things by nature arise from death. The circle of awareness where all things spring from life. 
All things animate are of the three states of existence. Chaos or death, liberty and humanity, or felicity of heaven. Three necessities control all things, beginning in the great deep, the circle of chaos, plenitude in heaven. Three are the paths of the soul, man, liberty, light. Three are the hindrances, lack of endeavor to obtain knowledge, non-attachment to God, attachment to evil. In man, the three are manifest. Three are the kings of the power within. Three are the chambers of the mysteries. Found yet not found in the body of man. Hear ye now of he who was liberated. Freed from the bondage of life into light. Knowing the source of all worlds shall be open. Yes, even in the gates of a ruler shall not be barred. Yet he, O oh man, who would enter heaven, if ye not be worthy, better it to be to fall into the fire. Know ye the celestials pass through the pure flame at every revolution of the heavens. They bathe in the fountain of light. Listen, O oh man, to this mystery. Long in the past, before ye were man born, I dwelt in ancient Atlantis. There in the temple, I drank of the wisdom, poured as a fountain of light from the dweller. Give the presence to ascend to the presence of light. In the great world, stood I before the Holy One, enthroned in the flower of fire. Veiled was he by the lightnings of darkness, else my soul by the glory had been shattered. Forth from the feet of his throne like a diamond. Rolled for four rivers of the flame from his footstool. Rolled through the channels of the clouds to the man world. Filled was the hall with the spirits of heaven. Wonder of wonders was the starry palace. Above the sky, like a rainbow, of fire and sunlight, were formed the spirits. Sang they the glories of the Holy One. Then from the midst of the fiver came a voice. Behold the glory of the first cause. I beheld that light, high above all darkness. Reflected in my own being, I attain, as it were, to the gods of all gods, the spirit sun, the sovereign of the sun spears. There is one, even the first, who have no beginning, who have no end, who have made all things, who govern all, who is good, who is just, who illumines, who sustains. Then from the throne there poured a great radiance, surrounded and lifting my soul by its power. Swiftly I moved through the spaces of heaven. Shown was I the mystery of mysteries, shown the secret heart of the cosmos. Carried was I to the land of Arulu, stood before the lords in their houses, opened they the doorway so I might glimpse the primeval chaos, shuddered my soul to the vision of horror, shrank back my soul from the ocean of darkness. Then saw I the need for the barriers, saw the need for the lords of Arulu. Only they with their infinite balance could stand in the way of the imporing chaos. Only they could guard God's creation. Then did I pass around the circle of fate. Saw all the souls who had conquered the darkness. Saw the splendor of light where they dwell. Long I did take my place in the circle, but long I also for the way I chosen. When I stood in halls of immensity and made my choice to the work I would do, passed I from the halls of a rulu down to the earth space where my body lay. Arose I from the earth where I rested, stood I before the dweller. Gave my pledge to renounce my great right until my work on earth is completed, until the age of darkness be past. 
Listen, O oh man, to the words I shall give ye. In them ye shall find essence of life before I burn to the halls of a minty. Touch shall give you the secret of secrets, how ye too may arise to the light. Preserve them and guard them. Hide them in symbols, so the profane will laugh and run out. In every land, for me, the mysteries make the way hard for the seeker to tread. Thus will the weak and the wavering be rejected. Thus will the secrets be hidden and guarded. Hell till the time when the will shall be turned through the dark ages. Waiting and watching, my spirit shall remain in the deep hidden land. When one has passed all the trials, of the outer, summon ye me by the key that ye hold. Then will I, the initiator, answer, come from the halls of the gods in Amenti. Then will I receive the initiate, give him the words of power. Hark ye, remember these words of warning. Bring not to me one lacking in wisdom, in pure in heart are weak in his purpose. Else I will withdraw from ye your my power to summon me from the place of my sleeping. Now go ye forth and summon thy brothers, so that I may impart the wisdom to light to thy path. When my presence is gone, come to the chamber beneath my temple, eat not food until three days are past. There will I give thee the essence of wisdom, so that with power ye may shine amongst men. There will I give unto thee the secrets, so that ye too may rise to the heavens. God, men in truth, as essence ye be, depart now, I leave me, while I summon those ye know of, but as yet know not.